like, and, I, and this, maybe I, this is a time, I'll give you a personal example of, and this was just the last um, constellation we did, which was last Sunday. Uh, we had a couple of experiences where um, there was a, a sense of uh, a husband failing the wife in, in a very profound way, often around a child being born. So maybe as a, as a snapshot, you could say these young men and women needed each other to be something fundamentally more than they were able to be. Um, and it's often, in, in the cases we're working with, it's often a woman who feels the husband just is not there <coughs> with the child coming into the picture. And, you know, I. I the sense, since I was representing one of these men, I had this deep inner sense of wanting to be, so I may be 25 years old, I've got a wife and a baby, and um, I feel deeply inadequate. So I, I, I was able to access the feelings of this man. I feel deeply, deeply inadequate, like I can't, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, I can't be what this woman who I love needs and deserves me to be. I can't do it. Uh, there's just too much on me, trying to have a job and maintain income and and grow up, I mean, in terms of, say, being just being a partner, <coughs> just that, being a husband and a provider is already at 25 or 28, way more that I really could do, mostly, but maybe I'm managing, sort of. Then there's a baby, and the wife doesn't work anymore, and I'm the sole provider. There's just a felt, there's a deep felt sense of how painful that was to these men. Things like that come up, not uncommonly. So as you stand in for someone or you represent them, uh, you're going to have your own piece of it that comes up, right? In some way, if you're, if, at least it's very possible. Uh, it may help you realize and see certain things in your own life and free up certain kinds of energy. And, uh, and the belief, I, I would say, is that when you do that work yourself and free up some kind of energetic block, you're not only doing it for you and for the group, you're doing it in a much broader way. So the healing of that wound is healing for you know, all young men who've been put under way too much pressure, and all young, young women being mothers who have needed way more than they could possibly get from their husbands. You see, I mean, it, it, it's, since you're connected to this field of knowing, the healing that takes place is infinite goes out like that through time and space. And the understanding of the constellation work is that it even goes backwards in time. You know, I mean, certain things that were said by great spiritual teachers, like the Buddha said, when I awake and when I awoke, all beings awoke with me. Mm -hmm. Or Jesus said, uh, you know, that I forgave the sins of the world. I, you know, these things don't make a lot of sense, but in this way they do. There's, there's no separation in this field of energy. So, and there's no separation in terms of time or space or any of it. Anything that we think of as other or before or after, all of that is not really in the field of awareness. Those are constructs that are imposed on it. So, um, by healing yourself, you do in some way heal all beings. By healing a wound in you, you facilitate, at least in some small way, the healing of that with others. And you know, the understanding is that if this, you could be deeply affected now in your life by something that goes back as far as six or seven generations. Um, it seems to me seven generations is a traditional way of looking at things. It's in the Bible, it's in shamanic literature. Um, it's, it opens up a whole different way of understanding. So in other words, if you have 
if you've done something in your own life that you don't feel good about or you feel like was a real failure in yourself, um, and this would include many different kinds of things, being a, having an addiction, you know, breaking the law, you know, being disloyal and important, you know, it could well be that one of the main contributing factors, if not the primary factor, is not that you were um, a failure as a person or lacking in some kind of moral fiber, but that you were caring and representing, uh, to some extent as an act of loyalty to your family, a wound that may go back quite a ways.